So behind us here we've fitted a GFX 1060, a NAV 900 and EasyPilot Pro on this combine. So we originally fitted it on the customer's tractor and for this time of year then he swaps it from his tractor onto the combine knocking full value out of the system. So we'll go through here now the benefits of the system and we'll show a couple of clips of it in operation. So I might pop up in the combine here now and we can give a quick run through in the system and how we transfer this from the tractor across onto the combine. So here I suppose this combine wasn't guidance ready or it wasn't auto steer ready so we had to fit the sand 300 steering motor. So I suppose basically what we did we took off the steering wheel on the combine. We have a platform kit which is like an adapter plate I suppose that goes over the steering column so it's in on underneath here you don't see it. And um, there is cables then ran from the steering motor so you can see on this side there's a cable coming out of the motor ran down the pillar so everything is nice and neat I suppose to, to factory spec. That cable is ran up to the receiver that we have on the roof and then there's also a cable from the receiver running into the back of our screen here. Um, I suppose look it's very easy to bolt the lights of the steering motor here on and off swapped across to you could swap this across to another tractor within 10 minutes you could swap the full kit across. Um, I suppose our screen then, we have our power cables ran to the battery of the combine. So the screen is just mounted here behind with a ram mount. So to swap this across, it's only plug out your power cable, unscrew the ram mount and lift it across. Again, with our receiver up on the roof, we have a quick release bracket. So that's only a matter of plugging out the cable on the roof and clip your receiver off and onto the other tractor. So all in all, you'd swap your three pieces of hardware could be swapped across within 10 to 15 minutes. Again on the screen we're saving our vehicle profile so all the settings for the combine here are saved on the screen. Likewise when it's moved across onto the tractor all the settings for the tractor are also saved on the screen so we only click on the screen what vehicle it's on and all settings everything is set up. So as you can see here this install it's nice tidy install. Cables are on nice and neat down behind panels down your steering column here behind panels very simple to swap across. Another nice feature here I suppose this machine isn't auto steer ready so we don't have any button to engage the auto steer so we've actually fitted this blue button here which will engage your auto steer. So nice and handy for the operator just to press rather than leaning forward each time to press the screen and it'll engage his steering up and down the field.